Hello, my name is Katherine Davidson and I will be doing a presentation on the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. The New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, most commonly called Jazz Fest, has been serving the community since 1970. It has served as a means to celebrate the rich culture of jazz, food, and entertainment. Jazz music has been used by many backgrounds to celebrate since the 1890s in New Orleans. Since the New Orleans region was thriving as an entertainment center, jazz music was able to flourish in the city. Many neighborhoods would constantly use the music to celebrate nearly any occasion, thus giving the perfect opportunity for the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Newport Jazz Festival began in the 1950s with producer John Wayne. He saw an opportunity to bring the thriving celebration that was occurring in Rhode Island to New Orleans. In April of 1970, at Congo Square, Mahalia Jackson and Duke Ellington became the true spirit of Jazz Fest when the Eureka Brass Band handed Jackson the microphone during a second line. Thanks to these two, the voice of Jazz Fest that we know today can live on. Currently, Jazz Fest is celebrated at the Fairgrounds Racetrack just east of City Park. Louis Armstrong is undoubtedly one of the most famous jazz musicians of all time. During the second Jazz Fest, a salute to Louis Armstrong was featured with many people including Wallace Davenport, Andy Moses, George Wayne, and many others. All of these people made it possible to celebrate his legacy just two months before he passed away in 1971. On Louis Armstrong's 100th birthday, the festival made another dedication that would bump the attendance up to 650,000. The festival has made it possible to continue to celebrate his legacy, even though he was never able to attend physically. Edward Kennedy Ellington, or best known as Duke Ellington, has left a long-standing impression on the history of jazz and jazz fest. When Duke Ellington released Newport Festival Suite, it caught producer George Wayne's attention. Duke Ellington was then commissioned by Wayne to create New Orleans Suite for the first New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival in 1970. Because of his prolific composition in his works, he has become one of the most recognizable voices in jazz. Throughout the years, he has influenced many musicians that have gone on to perform at Jazz Fest. Nan Parati has been making her recognizable signs since 1985. She started as a sign maker for grocery stores, but when the opportunity came to her, she was commissioned to create the iconic stage signs. Each year, she creates over 3,000 signs for the festival and her signature copywritten font. Although her art is not performed on stage, the art continues to hold an unforgettable legacy. Troy Andrews, best known as Trombone Shorty, is a trombone and trumpet player. At just four years old, he made his first appearance on a Jazz Fest stage. In 1990, his brother James Andrews pulled him onto stage, and Trombone Shorty has continued to perform almost every year since. As many regular Jazz Fest attendees know, Trombone Shorty has held the torch of being the closer of the festival stage, previously Acura stage, for the festival. Current festival producer Quint Davis granted this position to Trump on Shorty in 2013.